Hey guys, it is now we're Swissy Puzzle here, and I am back from camp, and it's August 21st, and I actually been back for 10 days, so I've not uploaded a video in 10 days if you don't include the 50 days I was in camp for, from June 23rd to August 11th, because those don't count, I was in camp, and I uploaded a video on the day before I left camp, the 22nd, which was my update video, and now this is an unboxing, and it's going to go over some updates, so... Pennsylvania 2018 was 17th and the 19th, but I only went on the 18th because on 17th it was all it was every blind event except for the rewind, and then it was FMC and feet, and we couldn't go that day. And I really like to do FMC, and I'm and I suck at feet. I can't even do it. It'll probably take like 30 minutes or something, so can't do that. Maybe like 15. I did it on the Shiba XL once, and it was 15, but whatever. I can't do feet, so FMC was the only thing. And I, and we couldn't go that day, so we just came on the 18th, and then on the 19th, I just did 3 at 3 and 4 at 4 for the first two things in the morning. After that, it was all round 2, 3s, and finals. So I didn't go for that because I didn't make any of that. And I'm back now. So I have an unboxing, and without these puzzles, I would have 204, but this will bring it up to 208. And I've had these for a while. I got them in May because... They're for my birthday, but the thing is, like, this is the Clover Cube Plus, which is limited edition, and then, like, I just happened to get this, so, in one of my, in one of the packages from the cubicle that I got, it was, like, May 22nd or something, I got the, like, oh, the Leaf and Pyramid Duo, which is Icarus, and the Yushin Little Magic 2x2x2, two two two, and Shane Shot went 4x4 four four in white. And then along with that, I also got this, which is limited edition. It's the Moe Crazy Fisher Cube and Transfer Purple Limited Edition. And I knew it had, I knew it was going to run out because it came out in March 2014, but it actually still didn't run out yet. Oh well. And then I, oh yeah, oh, actually it's good. No, oh well, it's good. And then I got these and and also this for blind because you can't have logo for blind. And this was. This was November actually, November 2017. But I only brought it here, like brought it to this recording because I got this and it's for it. And I did use it in blind. I did do three blind. I did every event on. I, I did all the events except for the ones on the first day. And then I also got one of these two blindfolds. It was the second one on, in that package. And then the Moe Waylon GTS adjustment kit thingy it has like all those screws. And I got like I got in gray, then black, and then teal, and like it, it's a teal one, but I'm not going to like bring it out and get all the screws and stuff. So now, oh, and also, uh, actually, well, this is the cube to his three out three out three bandage DIY kit. So if you heard the Lego, so if you know what the Lego band cube is, but you don't know what this is, this is exactly the same thing except for. It's not a Lego bench or cube, it's just, like, you buy it, instead of a mod that you make. And then, this is the Mephers Master Pyramix. I just put tape on there, and, like, peeled off the other thing that was there. But this is the main thing that I had to tape up, because, like, especially on the bottom, these had, like, the address name and stuff. So, now let's get on with the unboxing. So, let's start off with the Chi Clover Cube Plus. In the MT edition. And I actually got this in a separate package from the from the Futures DIY Bandage Mod kit. And this. It was just the only thing in that package. Whoa, this is amazing. I actually already took this out of the bag before, but like so it's really amazing. And this box is what this came in, so I just took it out of the box so I could put the other ones in on the bottom and then put this one on the top. My reaction was even bigger when I first took it out, but I didn't, uh, as you guys can tell, I didn't actually take it out. I just took it out of the bag, that's it. And this has accessories and stuff, I guess. Oh yeah, and this is like the thing. Let's open up this. I think it can, it's supposed to come with more accessories. That's it. What? That's all that's in there? It was like preservatives or something? What? I know it's always coming with more. I know it's always coming with more, but whatever. 
I know this thing lights up. I don't know, maybe you need to like put batteries in or something. And this is actually still available, but but better be safe than sorry. Okay, this is yeah, getting even more amazing. Hmm, I wonder what's under here. I know this lights up. I'll take this off. I know it's off. Oh, cool. And you put the cube in here. And the cube is lit up. So I want to just open up the packaging. And this is the Cobra cube, but it also turns out the Cobra cube. And this is actually the only version version. And also, you get the other version that I already ordered it. So, turning isn't as good as the. Uh, as, well, turning is pretty much the same. This might be a little bit more unstable. Wait, did I already scramble it? Oh no. Yeah, I do not know what to solve this. I think I can backtrack what I did. Yeah, you guys can see it's like, it is looser and more wobbly and stuff. But it does turn like a 2x2. Oh wow, the turning is actually really good in the 2x2 layers. It's not bad. That's why I'm so wobbly. Oh, wow. This is so amazing. I do cool few turns and 2x2 turns. Yep, I already have a pop. I might have to tighten this or something, but it's really good. And let's look at this. And this only turned like a 2x2, two two, so I didn't actually scramble it. I just did 2x2 two two turns, which I can do. Like so. Wait, what? It doesn't fit? Why is it not fitting? It already fit before in the packaging, I guess. Oh yeah, because you have to like align it and everything. It's an extremely tight fit. It's hard to get out when it's tightly misaligned. Let's see. Can I open this? I think I need my scissors. So I have my scissors and, and I can open this. Oh wait. It just opens like that. Oh well. It's like this belt thingy. And it clips in here, I think. There. So, I think it's supposed to come with, like, the bracelet, or this is the bracelet. And I think also a clear stamp, but you can just get that anywhere. I was thinking in, in the description, like, on the, I'll link this in the description, in the description on the cubicle, so you can see, like, all the stuff that it comes with. And, like, every single detail that they say about it and everything. And since it's transparent stickerless, and instead of actually having a full transparent stickerless thing, what they did was they only make the pedal... They only made the pedals have a split stick design. Well, this is split stick but not transparent. On transparent, because a lot of these split stick because on the non limited edition version, because the non limited edition version obviously does come in stick sprite. There should actually be a stick IVQ, that would be really cool. So, like. It has, it's purple instead of white because this is already well transparent white because if this was just like well what the white side is on a transparent puzzle it would be the same exact color as this so they had to make a different color and they just made it purple not black or anything just purple because like black is like like black color like kind of like a VQ but purple is better I guess I should see the checkerboard. Checkerboard. Wait, we didn't add this to show the oh, purple can't tra contrasting with. Okay, well, actually, let's go and do this. Yeah, uh, that's better. I guess maybe that too, or like. Yeah, that's good. So now let's move on to the next puzzle, which is the crazy Yulang Fisher Cube. Which is the crazy, which is a moldy crazy Fisher Cube. So here it is. Basically, in moldy terms, Yulang means Fisher, I guess. Like in moldy puzzles, or maybe Yulang is actually how you say Fisher in Chinese. 
Who knows? Whatever. I guess I should just use my attack knife. But I don't want to accidentally cut into the cube or like anything. Or stick it or so. Yeah, that works. But then like it looks like it's open, but you can't get it out. You can do this way, you can just cut it more. Or try to rip it like that. So that was cool. Wait, what? Oh, I, I was trying to turn it like there. Right there. That's like trying to turn a three value like this. Like having the the center and edge of in the middle layer moving along with the top layer or even the edge here. But whatever, so turns like this. It's a fisher cube is crazy. It's basically it's, it's a fisher cube but just changed. So it's even crazier. It's really cool. See checkerboard on this. And also corner cutting abilities. And this can go along with my transparent, with, with like different transparent colors, limited edition, Uno cubes, and Fisher cubes, like 4 x 4s Yeah, 4 x 4 Uno and Fisher cubes from Mogi. The limited edition one, this goes along with them. Okay, these caps are falling out, that is annoying. It, that is a minor annoyance, but whatever. Okay, so checkerboard. Axis one, one axis, two axes, and there, full checkerboard. That's pretty cool, crazy. But it's like a really unique shape. It's really cool and stuff. Now I'm just going to undo the checkerboard. This cap fell off. I must have put it back on wrong. It fell off before, like off camera. Either there's an interruption, so I just like crop it. I guess. But and now let's move on to the cube twist DIY kit bandage modification 3 by 3 I said that all in the wrong word. Okay, so here it is. I wonder what this, what the base cube of this is. Sounds pretty good. Wait, somewhere this side. What? What's that? Is it? Oh, that's just this color reason, I guess. I thought it was an actual scratch or something extra on the piece. So, I don't think this has any corner cutting because it doesn't have any floating holes. Oh, maybe some forward corner cutting. But then reverse. Yeah, doesn't really do reverse corner cutting. I wonder what the mechanism is. Yep. That's actually what I thought. I thought I knew it had to be like a simple mechanism, like a Rubik's brand or something. Or like one of those really old 3x3s. Like even if it's not a Rubik's friend, even though it's not a Rubik's friend mechanism. So, mechanism of really, oh like an old 3x3, like one of those simple Rubik's modifications or something like that. Like the F2, F3, something like that. Uh, yeah. Like F or maybe Alpha, I don't know. Maru maybe? Whatever. So, this is cool. So you attach these on, and you can make band modification out of it. I'm actually going to do something right now. Before I um, make the modification, like before I put the tiles on, I'm just going to show that I figured out how to take this on. It does not come out like that. Oh, how to get under this. It cues sideways like that. And then it's like this. Oh, it's a bag. And then you, and you just pull it together and like roll up highways, that's really cool. So now, go do this. Oh, I don't know why, but they didn't include any yellow single tiles. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, why would they not include the yellow ones? Okay, so basically, just pretend that there are yellow single tiles here, so, it's supposed to, so, so, I saw, Lego Boys 3 has a video on this, and he actually made a cute himself. And how it is, it's, it's like an F2 advantage cube, except for instead of just having an advantage for, for the cross edges and then F2O pairs, the cross edges ones are in different, are different layers, so 
basically, I'm not going to spoil how to solve it. And, oh, he has that in his video. So, if you don't want to see solve it, well, actually, I'm not going to do solve it in this video. I'll just, actually, I guess I could, but I'll just put the timestamps of, like, in the description, I'll show the timestamps. I'll say, I'll put the timestamps of when spoilers start and end. And it should be about, well, I'll say, like, maybe like two minutes or something. I'm actually going to solve it once off camera, and then I'll show it on camera so I know how long it will take. Okay, I'm going to do the solve now. The solve on camera will take three minutes, so skip ahead three minutes so that you won't get any spoilers. So, basically, what you do is you have to like solve it. So, once you get the, the cross edges in, it's better. So, I can't. Let me this over. I'm just going to put this here. Then let me move this over. So I try to work better than inverse section move. But the thing is, you actually have to put the opposite in, so this one goes here. So it gives you uncheckable at the end. The reason why such armor works better than inverse sexy move is because if an inverse sexy move, we're going to have to break up these uh, these pairs on the top. But with the such armor, you don't have to. And now you just do edge orientation, and the gears method is easier because I can't find a single EP out that works. Any anyway, um CP out that works is the cheaper. Okay, no, I don't do that. Yeah, begin with it, so. Let's try and Ken probably are do doing this and then it's just beginning method. Wait, what? Wait. Don't use the beginning method. And then Well, yeah, I just think I don't do it anymore for us. I'm like doing oh, wait. there, okay. So, and you can't do R prime D prime R D or the inverse. So, you, oh, I'm not going to ask Chris to this, but basically, what you have to do is you have to do and I soon, and then the mirror is I soon. I'm just gonna do that here using this case. So that's where what that changes the headlights are that are on the left. But there's inverse headlights. So you do the inverse of it, well, it starts with soon on the left and then soon on the right. And then now it's solved and you should do this to go to finish it off. And yeah, it's really annoying that this yellow face um doesn't have the tiles. But at least it's just one face so I know that if it's not that it doesn't have tiles at the yellow face, but it's still really annoying. I know that you actually have to do a checkerboard pattern before you scramble it, so it's a lot easier to scramble. Well, by checkerboard, I mean, like, kind of checkerboard. Oh, and also something with this cube. Don't put the tiles down all the way, because then you won't be able to get them off. But they're up a little bit, you'll be able to take your nail under. We'll have to figure out a way. Maybe like that thing for Legos that like prides them apart. Oh yeah, if it, well maybe like a little more like that would be good. So you can just easily take it off. Or even like that much old. I think I might have done it a little too far. Whatever. So now let's move on to the Mefferts Professor. So here's the Mefferts Professor Pyraminx. I'm gonna keep my thumb away from the knife. Cut, not cut this way because that's towards my body, so. Just in case if it like slips or something. I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't go towards my leg. Okay. 
Here. This is amazing. Is the actual puzzle itself. Okay. So here it is. The Mefford Professor Pyramids. I almost said Mefford Pyramids. It's Professor Pyramids. Get my tribe on it. Oh, counter. Boom. Third. Here's really cool. Yeah, I knew the training wouldn't be good. Pop already? What? Okay. Oh, it's so stiff. Calvin puzzles are really make one of these. Yeah, they, they have to make one of these. And I'll be able to have one white, not black. So then I'm going along with my Shinsha Master Pyramid, which is also white. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm actually getting the Chibi Master Pyramid that just came out anyway. So, I'm going to do a checkerboard in this. I wonder how to solve this actually. This is really cool. Hmm. So now I checkerboarded it. And actually, to get a complete checkerboard, you have to switch like, these two tips and these two tips. But I can't get the tips off. And then I would also have to switch these two whole entire center chunks and then these center pieces. Like chunks. By center chunk, I mean the center piece. And then. All the pieces around it. So, yeah. Obviously, that one works. I can't get the tips off, so I can't screw it. Just don't come off. I don't know if they're glued on or something. Yeah. So, guys. Yeah. Uh, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And, bye.